As a spiritual follow-up to the previous video about the most popular community maps, now's the time to do the most popular community game modes. Aw oh, yeah, now this is a good nostalgia jerking topic, but you love it, don't you? This is why you come here. You aren't here to learn, you just want to feel good about a past of innocence and naivety, don't you? Anyway, with Counter-Strike's engine being moddable itself, there were a lot of game modes that came out over the years, which definitely made CS quite diverse, and some game modes don't even involve modding the game. Why should I go to a different game when, if I'm tired of doing the all rooty tooty point and shooty, there's other things to shoot? Sometimes, shooting isn't even involved. So out of all the custom game modes, let's round up the most popular. There's a few I would put in a category known as the classics. First up, Deathmatch! This one is quite ancient, it predates CS going all the way back to Doom and Quake, and similar to them, you spawn in random spots around the map, you pick your weapons, and just go ham! Non-stop shooting, action, you die, you respawn instantly, double kill, triple kill, ah! Yeah, it kinda goes like this. I used to spend so much time on Deathmatch because of the non-stop action, but honestly, if you ever want to learn the game faster, develop your game sense, and react action time, this is it. But of course, a regular old deathmatch can get boring, so over time, servers implemented various additions like getting some HP back in, mag refill when getting a frag, grenade reward for headshot, shops and power-ups, double jumps, and all this just made deathmatch even more hectic and fast-paced, which I like. Gun game or arms race these days, the origin of this one is kind of blank, I want to believe it was made up in CS 1.6, but I'm not sure if there really is any concrete information or who came up with it, I'll leave that sort of investigation for some other time. Anyway, gun game is a game mode similar to deathmatch, but you can only upgrade your weapons after one or two kills, last weapon is a knife, at which point you or your team win the game and the map changes, it also comes with its own set of maps with the GG prefix, because every team starts in their spawn instead of randomly spawning around the map. The maps themselves are rather similar in structure to Fight Yard, small and concise. I had loads of fun on this one too, great to help you learn all the weapons even though they are useless for the most part. But forcing you to play them can be more interesting than the same four weapons on Deathmatch. Also, to make things easier, I think in most gun game servers, players have no armor. Fight Yard, this one is quite simple, very small map, quick rounds, weapons are on the ground, and maybe some nades throughout, but yeah. Although many maps use the FY prefix and Fight Yard also being the general name for the mode, tons of maps also use the AIM prefix, and these are usually the maps with specific weapons, so everyone is on the same playing field most of the time. Also really good for AIM training and weapon training. I always enjoyed Fight Yard for how quick and easy it is, kinda like Deathmatch but without the respawn. Next category, we have Movement Based! Beginning with Creeds, ah, the most important of all. I actually never got the hang of it as a kid, but now, it's really fun. It's basically climbing and parkour for CS. The name is derived from the guy who came up with the idea who had the same online alias, Creeds. Start the timer, make your way to the end, and see how fast you can climb. There was, and still is, quite the community for KZ, cause you see, CS movement has so many dimensions to it. There's bunny hop, long jumps, high High jumps, count jumps, b-hop jumps, weird jumps, ladder jumps, surfing, and it's a matter of units, which is the measurement of distance in the gold source engine. Oh yeah, the dopamine hits hard when I click the correct input with the correct timing and nail the correct amount of distance traveled. While KZ is the general prefix for the maps, many mappers adopt their own prefix, so anything goes. Some maps that focus on b-hop and other techniques you can't really say are about climbing, so to generalize, it's more about utilizing your movement skills to conquer a map in a race against time, kinda like speedrunning. There's just too much to talk about, I haven't even started explaining the math behind long jumps yet, but before I nerd out too much, let's just move on. 
Hide and Seek. It's not so much a game of hiding, more so a game of tag, but with all the CS movements and juking involved, I was never really a fan of it because there will always be the ones who mastered movement that nobody can catch. Maybe that's just a massive cope on my side for being bad at it. Anyway, once the round starts, the T's have 10 seconds to get into position and the chase is on. Also, after every round, the teams themselves will change. The maps are made to fit this kind of parkour style of movement, so you can always grab a ladder or slide anywhere to avoid fall damage, for example. T's are given freeze and flash nades, which I always thought were very OP. The maps use HNS as a prefix, with Floppy Town being the primary one played. It was popular back then, but even now, there are somehow a few servers running hide and seek. Surf, jump down a slope, slide onto it, and obtain immense speed. Kinda like KZ, but without jumping or climbing, just sliding. A classic that unfortunately, it only managed to unlock its true potential in CSS because 1.6 map sizes are kinda limited in comparison. I personally never got into it, though a lot of people enjoy this kind of propelling yourself at a high velocity movement, but don't get me wrong, there is skill involved in surfing, it's just not my thing. The maps obviously use surf as a prefix, and there is quite the variety of it. Surfing was discovered by complete accident, and from there, it became what it is today. Similar to KZ, it's a race against time to the finish, but early versions and some servers focus on just both teams killing each other, which I kinda like more. Out of all the movement-based game modes, surf is the most popular today, not in 1.6, just CS in general. Death Run. In this mode, there's one terrorist and an entire army of CTs who have to traverse to the end of the map and kill him, but along the way, the T can activate numerous traps to stop them. There's a lot of juking using movement involved here, and some traps can be avoided if you know how to strafe or b-hop. Maps use Death Run as a prefix and range from short to very long, and here arises a similar issue to HNS, where if there is one really good movement player, the T will have to chase him while the rest can move on with no risk. Unfortunately, it wasn't uncommon for the game to be one-sided, either one good player always wins, or the entire CT team are not good enough to make it. Regardless, it was still a lot of fun. Now on to the additional game modes that don't really fit into any specific category. Zombie mode, oh jeez, where do I even start? There are so many of them worthy of their own video. There is too much info to dump right now, but the basic concept of zombie mode is one team are zombies with only melee attacks and tons of HP, while the other team are humans and must survive until the end of the timer or by miraculously killing all the zombies. Now, on what maps does this happen depends on which zombie mode spin-off. The classic is Zombie Plague. The maps start with a ZM prefix and include hiding or hard to get to spots. When the round starts, everyone is a human picking their own weapons and hiding, and then someone gets randomly infected, followed by spreading that infection, making everyone a zombie. I think that's the classic way, but there are other types of infection. Other mechanics can diversify these game modes, including, but not limited to, shops, where you can spend ammo packs on all kinds of stuff. Which packs you earn by dealing damage or scoring kills. You can get things like jet packs, bonus damage weapons, laser mines, and even the zombies themselves have different classes in their own shop. The basic nades are also different, such as a glow stick, freeze nade, and molotov. Besides the classic type of zombie mode, there are subcategories like zombie escape and base builder, but explaining all of that would be a mouthful, so maybe some other time. Jailbreak. So this is just Simon Says where the warden tells all the prisoners what to do. The guards and warden, unless there is a valid reason, cannot kill the prisoners, but the prisoners must find a way to start a riot and eliminate all the prison guards if they want to win. Hidden weapons do exist scattered around the map, so there are ways to win, so it's important to be clever and sneaky. The maps use jail as a prefix and are relatively the same, some might have more outdoor activities. This was kind of fun back then, but it can be boring with a bad warden, especially if the warden only types in chat. 
Knife, this one might seem quite self-explanatory, but not exactly. So yes, in this mode, it's all about stabbing your opponents. No nades, no gimmicks, and it's pretty understandable why this became its own separate game mode. The skill in this is in the timing. Being able to click your knife at the exact point of contact with the enemy's hitbox at the correct distance does require skill. The maps for this mode use whatever HP-related prefix, mostly 35 HP with some using 1 HP. So so yeah, with the health handicap, you only have one shot at engaging your opponent, unless you are trying to bait them to waste their opportunity. It was a lot more popular back in the day, and I did play it occasionally, but it was always a bit too simple for my taste. And that's all we have. Now I know, just like before, there will be people telling me how I didn't mention their favorite game mode. I'd love to put in at least an honorable mention section, but I'm actually gonna leave all that for a separate video, so there's something for you to look forward to, because there are quite a few other game modes that may not have been as popular, but did exist within their own niches. Well, anyway, all this rambling about games within a game reminds me of Minecraft and how I might have forgotten to close the gate on my cows. So, gotta go find them. Darn it.